Wow, look at this building here. Amazing! It's just crazy. This city is amazing. Oh my God. That's the hill here. Oh my God. Made it. All right. Continuing Midnight Rider. This was the first country, first world. Actually, uh, better than the US. Actually, uh, no, but we are speaking to talk so much. It was, uh, the time when, when you say it's a. Uh, Early 20th century, actually, in the 1900s. But in the 1990s, Buenos Aires was a very expensive city to visit. Because uh, the prices were the same as the US, or Europe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, now we got a nice view of the home of free. Now it's close to the, to the public, it's only for pedestrians. It's close because uh, it's under restoration. Oh, okay. They, uh, they replaced the floor that was made out from wood and they put a uh, restoration material. The bridge has 20 years, one building. It was also in the December of 2001 was the bad time for, for the opening because it was during the economical crisis of 2001 in Argentina. It was the worst crisis in the history of the country. It's uh, like every year they have a crisis here. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that one was, was even worse yeah. because uh, the unemployment rate was even higher and the, we got five presidents in 10 days. You got what? Five presidents. Five in 10 presidents. Days. I'll tell you later, I will tell you the, the story of that. That was a uh, protest all over the city, you know, riots all over the country. And that was December of 2001, so that was a bad timing for uh, the opening. And here, <coughs> this is a uh, former port. So all those red brick buildings were the former warehouses of the So in the 1990s, in early 1990s, all the area was converted into uh, 
a luxury neighborhood. So that's why we got five star hotels, the most expensive restaurants and farms around this area. Right? Let's go. Let's go to see the, the next point that is the Now when we go back to the city Oh wow you're gonna cross? So I was telling him that that cinema uh, that's called Gaumont, uh, they broadcast only Argentinian independent movies. Yeah. And it's subsidized by the government. The ticket is only 90 pesos. Wow. And they broadcast only uh, Argentinian and Latin American movies sometimes. Alright, so we're gonna stop somewhere here. Wanna make a left? Yeah. Murini was hired by the Argentinian government to make a lot of this. Like for example, Building up I, I told you guys that he was killed. He was killed, that's why he died at 44. <laughs> he was killed by his servant. So the building is built in a neoclassical style as well. So that's why we got these columns. Very similar to those columns of the primary school that we saw before. Do you remember the, the dome is made out from Cooper and it's the biggest it's made in this material in the world. They are Originally, Presidential Palace. To have a Argentinian flag up there. The first one that we saw today, do you remember the, the Cervantes Theater that was in the Spanish style? This is the second building that we see now with the Spanish colonial style. Um, the building. That's why it's a new colonial. Okay. Because it was made after the Spanish colonial.